How you guys? I've been doing I've been doing events like this for 30 years. <laughs> I'm finally finally got it right. It took me 30 years to figure out to figure out how to do these events right. Like this event that we're doing right now, there's 500 business owners. Got to have the right audience first. Number one, you got coaches, educators, uh, speakers, trainers, influencers out there. Number one, most important thing to do in a great event, you got to have the right audience. Got to have the right audience. Two, the audience needs to be coming for something that you can actually measure, right? For years. I did events. We're, we're in Turnberry, Turnberry in Miami. You got you to be able to measure. People can't just feel, leave off, oh, golly, that was the best. Oh my God, you're the best speaker. I heard that for years about, oh, you're the best speaker I've ever heard. Or you've been to an event, maybe somebody else was in my lineup and you liked them more, right? It wasn't about me. What, what, I'm, saying, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, if you can't measure it, and they can't measure it when they leave, they're not coming back. No matter how good you were. So number one, it's the audience. Number two, you gotta be able to measure it. Number three, you need to have products at the event. If you don't have products that people can leave with, the great companies on this planet understand saturation of clients with products is the way to satisfaction. Just keep these two things in mind. If you want a happily satisfied, intrigued, repeating customer, satisfaction, saturation. Saturation gets satisfaction. No saturation, no satisfaction. Some of you wonder why I have so many different products. I work on my product lineup so that I can actually give my customer everything that he wants with me, whether it's a free book, uh, an introduction, audio, video, uh, a one-day course on it, a webinar on it, three days on it, three weeks on it, a mastermind about it, whether he wants to come get coaching from me or he didn't want to do any of those things. And he just wants to invest with me because he thinks I'm a good businessman. So, look, if you're really committed to being a great coach, great educator, or teacher, you can't just give kids the fifth grade, okay? You really want to influence a kid's life, you got to be able to influence everything they're doing so they don't just get that one big class and then go home and smoke dope the rest of the day. Same thing with your clients. If your client comes, gets distracted when they leave, they're going to say, yeah, it was good, but it didn't change me. Go change the world. You can do it. I'm trying, and I'm just finally learning what I got to do to change the world. Change the world, man. Shit. Change the world.